You know, one piece of kit that I really appreciate as the weather gets colder here in Nova Scotia is a neck gaiter. Something that I can wear around my neck to keep not only my neck, but my chin, my cheeks, and right up into my ears warm. And I have a couple of really good ones made out of wool. And as, my, as good as they are, I also recognize that they can be a bit on the expensive side. So when a company reached out to me recently and offered to send me one of their neck gaiters, I gave a careful consideration before saying yes. And then when I did say yes and I tested it out, I felt, yes, it had value. I would bring it to you and show it to you. So this is the neck gaiter made by Joe Young. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. So once again, this one sent to me by Joe Young for testing and review. I did not pay for this. And I did, I did accept this under the condition that I would first test it. And if I found it had value, then I would bring the video to you. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Well, I have been testing it for a little while now. And uh, I think it does have value. And I think it is something you may be interested in. So what makes this different than other neck gaiters? Well, there's a few things that I like about this that I have not seen in other neck gaiters of its style. First off is its size. If, as you can see, it is very wide across this dimension here. In fact, it's 12 and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches in length down the neck. It's also made of a very stretchy fleece, and I like that as well because there's nothing more annoying than have a neck gaiter on that's really restrictive. While it may be comfortable around the neck, when I haul it up over my face, I find that some of them get to be very tight. So having something nice and big and loose like this is much more comfortable and much more likely to use and wear for a longer period of time. It is made from some type of an anti-pill fleece, so it shouldn't get that shabby look over time. Uh, I, I haven't had it long enough to really test that out, but I can tell you that it is extremely soft, very comfortable on the face. It's not going to irritate me when my face gets very cold and wet. It's also double layered, which is kind of unique. A lot of them are single layered, but this is double layered, so that makes it just that much warmer. The construction of this seems to be spot on. I can't find any fault with the construction at all. It does have a webbing cord with a slide lock or cord lock on it around one end of it. So you can either wear that around your neck or up high, depending on where you need the extra tension on it. Yeah, it just seems to be a good quality, very basic neck gaiter. So let me put it on and show you what it looks like. Put my hat back on. Hopefully I didn't cover up my microphone. So as you can see, it does reach down far enough in my neck to protect that area which sometimes becomes exposed between a jacket and a shirt and the, the uh, top of the gaiter. So I like that it is just long enough. It's not too long, but just long enough to do that. Yet I can still bring this up around my chin. And if I need to, right up over my nose, right up under, under my eyes. So it is still long enough for all that and comfortable enough that I wouldn't mind wearing this for an extended period of time. Okay, that's all I wanted to do is just a quick overview of this neck gaiter from Joe Young. And what I'll do is I'll put the information in the video description below where you can purchase the Joe Young neck gaiter. I think when you look on, you'll see that they have a great number, quite a variety of colors. They did send it to me in gray, which is just fine. Uh, you know, that's something I would wear not only in the woods, but you know, I'd wear this around the city without question. So take a look at them. They have some deals. If you buy two of them, it's a little cheaper than, per well, it's not cheaper than purchasing one, but it's, the, it's not twice the price of purchasing one. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. So again, I'll put the information where you can take a look at this in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.